The purpose of this video is to teach you about safety in the field. Fieldwork in rural and urban location forms an essential part of many research functions and we want you to carry out these tasks as safely as it is possible. Safety first. In the field, you may come across a situation that may be potentially dangerous. To ensure ultimate safety, you will be required to be attentive, act intelligently, and follow basic safety regulations in the field. Be attentive. Situational awareness allows us to grasp any subtle development that might threaten our safety. It might be a, sh a shadow lurking in, in the dark corner of the street or someone raising their voice and displaying violent body language. In all cases, we need an active attention. It is absolutely necessary for us to be attentive, not just to project an attitude of confidence that deters potential aggressors, but also to be present so that we could defend ourselves if things go wrong. Act intelligently. Acting intelligently means always assessing the situation before taking any sudden decisions. Walking away from something is as valid a response as standing up and fighting the right decision is the one that makes you safe. This applies especially if you are going to a new place, know where the dangerous zones are and stay away from them. Women in particular can be subjected to harassment on the streets in many places. Ignore men whistling and do not engage in conversation. Field safety. Don't walk alone after dark. Walk in pairs as there is always safety in numbers and ensure your driver know where you are. Let a team, mem a team member know your destination and your estimated time of arrival or return. Stay in well-lit areas as much as possible. Avoid dark roads, vacant areas, wooded areas, and other shortcuts or isolated areas. Always be aware of your, your surroundings. Don't wear headphones when walking around. You will not hear trouble approaching. Avoid carrying a handbag or displaying jewelry, your cell phone, or tablet in public. Walk confidently, directly, and at a steady pace. Always carry on you at all times the phone numbers of the supervisors, team members, and drivers. Ensure that your cell phone is in good working condition, fully charged, and that you have a time to be able to call for help when necessary or in cases of emergency. Trust your instinct. If something or someone makes you unease, avoid the person or leave. Know the area where you are, where you are working in, and avoid unsafe areas. Do not accept beverages that are prepared out of sight. Even when prepared in front of you, pay particular attention during its preparation. People can spike drinks to take advantage of others. Wearing correct attire. Use closed toe, comfortable shoes that will not slip. Gum boots should be used for wet weather to avoid slipping. Check the weather before heading to work to make an informed decision on your uniform choice. No jewelry, expensive handbags, or heavy makeup is to be worn as this will attract unwanted attention. Always wear the uniform that is provided or recommended by Epicenter. Ladies should not wear short skirts and they should always keep the cleavage well covered. Men should not wear shorts when in the field. If someone tries to rob you, don't resist. Give up your property, don't give up your life. Report the crime to your driver, supervisor and the police. Try to describe the attacker accurately. Your actions can help prevent others from becoming victims. In cases of dogs, you may come across dogs in the field. Not all dogs bite. 
However, we encourage you to keep a safe distance and do not entice head or go near any dog even if they look friendly. Dogs that fear for their own safety are often the most likely dogs to bite human or other dogs. Remember that the threat is from the dog's perspective. Dogs can be aggressive for a few reasons. These are some of them. Protective aggression. This most often happens when a mother protects her puppies. Territorial aggression. Dogs may attempt to guard or defend their home or space. Pain-induced aggression. Dogs attempt to protect themselves by responding aggressively when they feel pain. Possessive aggression. Many dogs show the tendency to guard their possessions or owners. How to tell if a dog will attack you? Dogs will give you warning, warning signs before they attack. Obvious signs include barking, growling, in the dogs, or if the dog's ears are flat or suddenly pick up. Preventing a dog bite. Ask the owner to hold their dog or lock them away if possible before entering the home. Do not approach an unfamiliar dog on your own. Do not run from a dog or scream. They may chase you. Remain motionless. For example, be still like a tree when approached by an unfamiliar dog. If knocked over by a dog, roll into a ball and be still. Do not play with a dog at the participant's household or in the neighborhood. Avoid the direct eye contact with a dog. They will take it as a threat. Do not disturb a dog that is sleeping, eating, or caring for its puppies. Do not pet a dog without allowing it to see and sniff you first. If bitten, do not try hit the animal to punish it. It will attack you further. If bitten, immediately report the bite to your supervisor and follow the procedures to get you treated in time and complete the appropriate documentation. Treating a dog bite. In the event of being bitten, place a clean towel over the injury to stop any bleeding. Try to keep the injured area elevated. Wash the bite carefully with the soap and water. Apply antibiotic ointment to the injury every day to prevent infection. Apply a sterile bandage to the wound. Go to the clinical doctor immediately and then inform them of the incident. What to do if you get hurt in the field? As much as we try to avoid accidents, they may happen in the field. Here is what to do if you get hurt while you are on duty. Call your team leader immediately. The team leader will contact the supervisor about the incident. Supervisors will travel to the field worker and take them to the company doctor or an agreed primary health care facility. A doctor will treat the, the field worker and fill out an injury on duty form which needed to be returned to the director. After the field worker has been had been treated, a supervisor will fill in an incident form with the field worker. The incident form is compiled of details relating to when and where the accident occurred. A copy of the doctor's IOD certificate as well as the field worker's ID need to be sent to the head office. All field worker compensation will be handled by the director and the head office.